just picked up the GameStop bundle for the PlayStation 5, it ran me $899. Now, is it worth it? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do it. Welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. And I've been playing games and collecting games ever since I was a kid. So therefore, I decided to start this channel up. So if you like my videos, smash that like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's start the video. Welcome back to gamer to gamer and I just picked up the GameStop bundle for the PlayStation 5. So let's jump right into this. Do I think it's worth it paying $899? And plus tax, it came up to almost like, I don't know, like, I want to say, I just rounded out to, what, nine fifty. Now, do I personally think it's worth it? Eh, like paying almost a thousand bucks for all this, I'm not really sure. But, you know, like I said, I really, really wanted it. And, um, like, my game room has, like, multiple TVs. And I've been dying to get, like, another uh, PlayStation 5. So why did it get why did I get it? Well, to be honest with you, I was just impatient, you know what? And looking for one, I had time to save up money, so I decided to get it. But it does come with some goodies. So let's check out the bundle. Let's see what comes with it. So it comes with, of course, the PlayStation 5. And it comes with a um a charger for your um controllers. And it comes with an extra controller. And some games. Spider-Man, Battlefield 2042, and Ratchet and Clank. So right off the bat, I would say the controller is a good choice because you're gonna need an extra controller if you know if you like playing fighting games or these days they're split screen co-op games. So I think that is a pretty good drop to drop a, a controller in there. The uh charger, eh. I think that's pretty good too. The only thing I really had a problem with is the games here. I wish they would have gave us a choice of picking the games, but however, Spider-Man, that's a really good one right there. Miles Morales, that's an awesome game. Battlefield, never played it, but my buddy said he does not like it. And Ratchet and Clank is a really good game. But like to new people who want a PlayStation 5, is it worth it? I personally don't think it's worth it because of the price for everything. Everything was just kind of given to us. Like, okay, this comes with the bundle. Because $899, that's like, ugh, that hurts your pockets. So these things are so hard to come by these days. You know, people are scalping them. So I just think GameStop kind of jumped up in and said, you know what? Let's do bundles and stuff like that. I think it's not a good move to do that. I mean, money-wise, yeah, but people like me who just want the PlayStation 5, it kind of sucks. It really does. So let's go over price. I'm not even going to add taxes just yet. So the PlayStation 5 is $500. The DualSense ch charging dock is $29.99. And a new controller is $69.99. Mal Miles Morales Spider-Man, that was actually going for $59.99. So I give him $59. Battlefield was actually going for $39.99. And I think it's cheaper now, but we're going to stick to $39.99. Ratchet and Clank, that was $49.99. So I add everything together. What, 500 plus 39 plus 49 carry the Y. Sorry, that's a LA district, school district education. So it all comes up to $746. That's how much everything costs. But yet GameStop charged, charged me $899 plus tax. So let's see how much it comes up plus tax. Plus tax. Let's see. Let's give them eh, $50 and it comes up to $796. So GameStop actually came up like 
$100 plus some change. So yeah, they kind of stiffed us on this deal right here. So you end up paying a lot more. And for me, I really got screwed on this deal because you see the PlayStation uh, 5 controller here? Got it already. And the dual sets charger. Got it already. And Spider-Man? Got it already. Battlefield? Got it already. And Ratchet and Clank? Got it already. So I pretty much paid for uh, extra games just to get the PlayStation 5. I got screwed. Now, like I said, it's a good deal if you really need all this stuff. And sometimes... Uh, these games aren't on sale. I give them that. But I think um, GameStop bumped up the price on, on, on these games just to, you know, make the bundle seem like it was worth it. But anyway, I paid $8.99 for this plus tax. And I'm still kind of happy because I do have a, another controller. So that's cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Gamer to Gamer. Got it already.